Hi, this is Tony Bowron, uh, Solution Architect. I'm going to give you the simplest demo I can on how you might bring data in from an Xbox controller uh, and apply it to uh, anything in Editor. And this is not in play. We get a lot of requests for this for virtual production. How can I bring that data in? If you're using your Xbox controller in the Editor, the first thing you want to do is don't allow the it's called a joystick for some reason the joystick controls to work in the level editor that's going to be checked on by default and that's going to move your camera when you're using it so you want to turn that off and then to make this work you're also going to want to load a couple plugins right you obviously want the live link plugin because that's the protocol that you're using for streaming but you're also going to want the virtual camera and you might just add the virtual production utilities. I'm not sure there's extra stuff there. But you want this virtual camera because this is the um, how it's going to create the hooks to get into it. So, so you can see here, um, what I've done is I've created my own uh, array of values. Uh, you can see the left stick X and Y over here. The right stick can move. I can move the triggers. And, and the way I do that is uh, you create a new... Once you enable Live Link, you have this option here. You can create a new blueprint virtual subject. There's a couple of different types of roles. Um, the basic role is just an array that you define and fill and fill the values up, and then you un you pull out those values that you need. Um, the other ones are very similar, but they have extra stuff. Like the camera will have extra camera data on top of it. Light will have let light information like number that stuff. Um, but I'm just going to use a very basic the live link basic role. And I have one here. I call it my live link basic role. And what this is, is this defines it's just a virtual subject that that you will be able to select when you create a new virtual subject. So you have to do two things. You need to initialize it and you need to create a a uh, array of names and this is just the na the array of the names that you want these channels to be called you can call them whatever you want I call them left stick YX right stick YX and left and right trigger um, and you create this and then you create an array of these floats and here I'm just building that array with these with these float values and you just want to define these things initially and then this is where I create analog events from my vcab vcam input so you would like to to get v, get v cam or it's right here yeah get vcam input subsystem and this is where you can branch off and you can see the different binds you can bind analog events key press events mouse events mouse move mouse wheel so this is your way of getting information into the system so here I'm just creating a I'm pulling this off and creating a uh, custom event that is the gamepad left thumb stick y axis and I, I, I pull that off and I just feed that I think you'll get it. it's an analog event so you have to c convert that into a floating point and you set your proper variable to that right so I just go through for the y-axis x-axis and then the right stick y-axis I hear I did a little trick here where I looked at it if I said if the absolute value is less than a really small number then make it zero and that's just so you can zero things out um, there's probably clever or ways to do this but it was simple um, and then for the the right stick same thing and then for the trigger so same thing I if, um, Choosing, the, you know, the, I'm choosing. There's a bunch of different things you can choose. I'm choosing the trigger axis and binding that and, and filling the value. So that just ha happens once when you initialize, and then there's another event on update, and you're just taking this array you, you've created and you're just setting each element index to the to the order that you define. So it's left stick Y, left stick X, right stick Y, right stick X left trigger right trigger right and once you have that you have to update your virtual subject frame data and here you plug that array in and this is what sends the packet 
as if it was uh, live link information coming from from a uh, motion capture or something. In this case, it's coming from your uh, your array of, of values from your your controller, right? So so this is exists, and you select it by adding a virtual subject, and you choose here my ll basic role, and you add it, and then you see it's called virtual, and you can see the values here, right? So that's how you get the information in the system. Then how do you read it, right? Well, at this point, it's like it's similar to any live link stream, but uh, um, it's it's custom because we we built the, the order that 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 we wanted. So so in this case, we have a viewport and this cube, and you need to add a live link controller here, right? And this is what allows you to get this event. You could right click and say add event. And you'll get this live link update. And this will this doesn't go on the game because the game's not running, so it just runs whenever live link is triggered. And uh, here you can choose the you could have more than one uh, virtual subject, but here I only have one. It's a it's a basic role. And you have to uh, pull this out, and you can break the live link data blueprint. So you have your static data and frame data. Remember, we updated the frame data. So if you right click, you can split it, and you can see these are this is an array. Well, this is the array that holds all of those values that we filled in. So in this case, I know that zero and one is my left stick y and x. So I pull out zero and one from the array. I multiply it by 100 just because the, the value is too small. And in this case, I'm just applying it to the relative location of this cube. So when I move my controller, you can see the relative location is updating here. So this value could go into a animation blueprint, which you could push into a control rig if you wanted to aim the, the head of a character, or if you had like a forklift that you wanted to go up and down, you could you could access any control rig or blueprint by uh, by just adding this live link component controller and uh, getting the value and you break it apart the pieces you want and you use them as if there are any other value so hopefully this uh, explains how to do this I know it's not something that's documented very well but uh, for a lot of virtual productions where you can't hit play and you want to be working in the environment without the play this is uh, a way to get that data in so good luck